speaking about your video, I actually watched uh, one of your video where you explain or elucidate the difference between the word energy used in physics and the energy used by some spiritual gurus. So in your yeah. experience, why do words like energy, vibration or observer effect, like you, the one that you mentioned before, like the double slit experiment, yeah. these words are, get misused so often in this context. So what do you think about that? Yeah. Well, there's two sides to it. Some of it is just genuine linguistic confusion and some of it is deleb deliberate misrepresentation of terminology for the for the confusion is just that language is vague and words have multiple meanings and we use words metaphorically and so if you literalize the metaphor right if i say this room has good energy i can say that but i'm speaking metaphorically it doesn't literally emanate electromagnetic radiation or, of a, yeah. or something like that um, I'm speaking metaphorically, but if you literalize it, then it doesn't make any sense. Or positive and negative, right? Yeah. Positive and negative energy, right? We can be, we can speak about but values for potential energy that have a positive or negative arithmetic yeah. value, yeah. right? Plus or minus. But yeah. positive and negative also mean good and bad, right? Yeah. They have multiple meanings, right? I had a positive experience. I had a negative experience today. And so when you equate those two meanings and have crossover, that's where you get confusion, right? There's negative energy, positive energy. No, that's not, it's not like good or bad energy. That doesn't mean anything. So there's genuine confusion. And I want to be charitable there where people are just genuinely confused. But then there's obviously gurus who, who muddy the waters on purpose and and use yeah. words incorrectly on purpose. Uh, so they have to be exposed. Yeah, that's totally true. Uh, and uh, some people even say things like quantum tunneling explain ghosts passing through walls or quantum entanglement explain telepathy or black magic. What is your take on that? Like, can real quantum phenomena explain the supernatural or is this just a misunderstanding of physics? 